Praise be Jesus Christ. I'm actually kind of serious when I tell people I hope to have a drink in heaven with you. Now, I know that heaven will be wonderful beyond our wildest imaginations. We can't even begin to comprehend how awesome heaven will be. But at the same time, when we look at scripture, it speaks a number of times of of having a drink in heaven. And I'm going to share three scriptures with you today. Now, the reason I bring this up is today is Holy Thursday. Today, we celebrate the Holy Priesthood, the institution of the priesthood. I belong to a community of priests called the Companions of the Cross. We were founded in 1985. We're dedicated to the new evangelization. I might be biased, but I think my community is the most awesome community of priests in the world. And every year we run a seminarian fundraiser campaign to help pay for the formation of our wonderful seminarians so they can become priests. Last year, year I made an appeal in my, inviting my viewers to make a donation to our seminarian campaign. You were very generous. And afterwards, I, like I was saying, I don't know how to thank this, the many people who were so generous. So I told my viewers, listen, if you gave to, to the campaign, you and I, we're going to have a drink in heaven together. <laughs> so that was kind of my promise. Um, and I mean it. You know, I, I do believe that there's something, there will be something of that in heaven. Now, what's my point? My point is, is Lent is almost over. And if by chance you realize, wait a minute, Lent is almost over. And I'm supposed to kind of make some donations during Lent. And I haven't done that yet. Well, guess what? This is your opportunity. Before Lent ends, why don't you go to the description in the link for our Companions of the Cross Seminary and Fundraising Appeal and make a little donation to my community to help uh, support our seminarians. Any little donation would be appreciated. Uh, thank you very much in advance. And also, if you can't give a donation, please at least keep us in your prayers. As Catholics, we're supposed to be dedicated to the religious orders and, and we're supposed to support them in whatever way we can. Okay, now check out these scriptures on just the reality that in heaven, you and I will be able to have a drink together and with the Lord. In Matthew 26, at the Last Supper, verse 29, our Lord Jesus says, I tell you, from now on, I shall not drink this fruit of the wine until the day when I drink it with you new in the kingdom of my Father. In Luke chapter 22, our Lord Jesus says, It is you who have stood by me in my trials, and I confer a kingdom on you just as my Father has confer conferred one on me, that you may eat and drink at my table in my kingdom, and you will sit on thrones to Judge, judging the 12 tribes of Israel. And then one of my favorite, Isaiah chapter 25, verse 6. On this mountain, the Lord of hosts will provide for all peoples a feast of rich food and choice wines. Juicy, rich food and pure, choice wines. So again, if you'd like to make a contribution to uh, the seminarian appeal for my community, I'd really appreciate it. And uh, God willing, you and I one day will be able to have a drink together in the kingdom of our Lord Jesus and the kingdom of our Father. Viva Cristore!